Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy DT3, man, and I'm big at you with another video, man. New media, notification gang. Gold Squad. It's what it is, man. Look, check this out. So, now that we didn't got all this bullshit out the way from the Kid Austin, the Abdullah Masons, you know, this Mike Tyson, Jake Paul shit and all that. Now that that's all out the way, and I just did a live stream just yesterday, so go check that out if you haven't, because I had to, I always do live streams. If I haven't been making content for a prolonged amount of time, I bust out with a live stream just to let y'all know that I'm watching motherfuckers. I'm not finna make videos to catch up, because a lot of the shit that's going on in boxing, I don't get no fucks about. Okay? Kid Austin, overrated. Abdullah Mason, I don't think you should be a prospect two years in a row. That don't mean that brother not good. That don't mean brother don't deserve to get what he's getting, the accolades that he's getting. I'm just saying, brother should kind of be past the prospect phase. But my boy B-Mac was telling me, like, you know, he's still, you know, he early in his career, you know what I'm saying? So, in, in B-Mac's defense, I, I respect game. But my own personal opinion, I don't think he should be a prospect two years in a row, personally. But I do understand my boy B-Mac of the Mac. I do understand uh, his perspective on the situation. But at the end of the day, these dudes ain't going to like, like, I give you Kid Austin. Kid Austin is pretty much going to be Sean Porter. He going to do cool, fighting low opposition, building his career, building his name, up, blah, 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 blah. But when he gets into the big name marquee fights, he's going to lose every time. Like a lot of these fighters, you could tell where they going to go. In their career. You can tell how far. You can, you can tell. Kid Austin ain't finna do nothing special. I don't see nothing special about Kid Austin. Stylistically, I don't see nothing about him that's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Nothing. Same thing with Sabril Matias. Y'all did all that talk about Sabril Matias, Sabril Matias. Look at Sabril Matias now. Same shit. I don't be sold off of a fighter's first 10 fights. There's only one fighter right now. That I'm like, hey, y'all sleeping on that nigga. <clears throat> my nigga G5 Jeff don't like the nigga. Shout out to my nigga G5 Jeff. My nigga G5 don't like, but I fucks with him. I, I, I fucks with him, okay? And that's Jana Beck and the Canoli. Nobody talk about that nigga. Ain't near, not a near one of you niggas talk about Jana Beck and the Canoli. Who y'all talking about? Tank Davis, Mike Tyson, Jay Paul. Uh, Abdullah Mason, Kid Austin, Tia Fimo, Terrence Crawford. Y'all talking about all the popular niggas, bro. They make the only niggas in boxing. They make the only ones. Why y'all not talking about Janabek? I ain't seen nobody when Janabek won his last fight. Myself included. I ain't do shit either. Ain't nobody saying shit about Janabek. Don't nobody give a fuck about Janabek. But he whooping niggas right now. And he finna uh, supposed to be fighting uh, uh, Shiraz, the dude that just beat uh, 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 Ammo Williams. This is not his last fight, but the fight before last in the five versus five. With the uh, Eddie Hearn versus um, uh, Frank Warren. And they did the five on five shit. Now, Jennebeck finna fight Shiraz. Ain't nobody talking about that shit. You niggas ain't real boxing fans. That's why I said, my ain't the fuck fuck. What the fuck you niggas doing? Huh? What you niggas doing? Well, it's a Tank Davis. Terrence Crawford. That's all I'm hearing for you niggas. Then, you come forth and I say some shit about, hell, y'all niggas ain't even talking about motherfucking, um, uh, 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 Raymond Ford. I ain't even talking about him. What y'all talking about? Everybody else. Talking about everybody. Hey, y'all niggas ain't talking about Liam Puro. You ain't talking about them niggas. But you talking about everybody else. This is why I don't fuck with you niggas, bro. On this box, like I said to my nigga B-Mac, I'm alive yesterday. The only reason why I do this still to this day, the only reason why I do this shit is for 9,000 motherfuckers that subscribe to my channel. That's what I do it for. I used to have, I used to want to get to 10,000 subscribers. That was my goal to get 10,000 and whatever happens after that is what happens. 
But at this stage that I'm looking at, do I care about clout? No. Do I care about like everybody seeing me, giving me pats on the back type shit? Because there's a lot of you niggas on here that motherfuckers fuck with. And a lot of you motherfuckers on here that fuck with niggas that I fuck with, but y'all don't fuck with me though. A lot of you niggas on here, bro. A lot of you niggas don't fuck with the kid. I didn't came to niggas live streams and show love to niggas. Motherfuckers act like they too good to say what's up to a nigga. They don't show the same love and shit like that. So I already know. I already know what's up. At the end of the day, bro, this the shit that's going on in boxing right now is not exciting to me. I'm not excited about Keyshawn Davis fighting Tank Davis. I'm not. I am not. I'm not like ecstatic about that shit, bro. I'm not. <clears throat> Keyshawn Davis poses no real threats to Tank. If you think Keyshawn gonna hit him and hurt Tank. In order to beat Tank, you have to keep him off of you. Keyshawn Davis does not have the power as a boxer to keep um, Javante off of him. He don't. He don't have a strong enough lead hand. Do he got a good right hand? Yeah, he got a good right hand. But Tank hit hard with both hands. He don't just got a left hand. He don't just got a, a right hand. He don't got a left hook or a right hook or a straight left. He don't know. He hits hard with both hands. And can you control Tank Davis with your lead hand, Keyshawn? No. Nope. The only fighter that I know can control him with the front hand, but it won't last long, is, is Shakur. Not Devin. Devin has a lazy fucking jab. It is not a thudding, stiff jab. Like, if you look at, compare the jab. Shakur's jab versus Devin's jab. Shakur's jab has more pop on it. It got more oomph on it. So, I think, and plus, Shakur's left hand is, so that opposed more problems stylistically. Do I think Shakur will beat Tank? No. No. Do I think Shakur will have success against Tank? Yeah, early. Tank always lose early rounds. But eventually, as most pure boxers do, you will dissipate over time. And Tank is just going to keep coming forward, coming forward, walking you, walking you down, walking you down, walking you down. And Tank up to the body. Shakur is not going to be able to deal with that shit 12 rounds straight. He's going to touch the canvas. He's going to touch the canvas. Tank ain't afraid to get in there and scrap with niggas. I want to see what the nigga do against somebody that's a puncher like a Dos Santos. I want to see that. That's what I want to see. See what he do against another dude who can punch. But of course, it's um, he's using the Mayweather format. And the best way to have a long-term career is to take as little punishment as clinically possible. So he's not finna fight no punchers, bro. He's using the Mayweather format to prolong his career. He is not finna fight no punches. Okay, he about to fight some dudes that got some skills, that know how to box and shit, that can do that sweet shit, but they can't punch. They can't, they ain't gonna hurt that nigga. They might win some rounds. They not gonna win the fight though. So y'all get caught up with niggas that could, could win round here. Yeah, he could, no nigga, he's not gonna win a fight. At the end of the day, the sport is boxing. But at the end of the day, nigga, it's a fight, bro. And you gonna get touched. And Shakur is not a knockout puncher, bro. You know what I'm saying? Keyshawn Davis is not no knockout artist, bro. And I know, well, he knocked out, he knocked out this nigga, that nigga. He ain't no knockout artist, bro. He not. You bet. You had a better chance of me believing Deontay Wilder is more of a knockout artist than Keyshawn fucking Davis. Real shit. Ain't no, I don't, I ain't, if that's the case, why Keyshawn ain't fighting T.O.? Didn't they have a little moment when Keyshawn picked Crawford over T.O. and this, 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 that, and the third and all that shit? Why them two niggas ain't finna fight? Why T.O. ain't talking about no Liam Piro? Why we ain't getting no Liam Piro, T.O. Fima? Huh? 
Why we ain't getting no Jack Catterall to your female? Why, why you, why would you afraid that Catterall smoke to you? Hmm? Your bitch ass fanboy, uh, motherfucker, Mr. Moonshine, ain't sitting up there trying to big up you fighting motherfucking, um, Jack Catterall. But you niggas want to chase Terrence Crawford. Right. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Nigga don't even want to clean his own division out. You 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 chasing a nigga who is literally willing to clear divisions. You ain't clearing no divisions, bro. This is what he doing. He looking, he did the same shit with Loma. He trying to get that fast track money. Trying to get that fast track money. Like, I'll fight anybody. No, you won't. Niggas be lying when they say that y'all. You lying. Liam Puro, that's anybody. And he world champ. Jack Catterall, he anybody? Hmm? Right, you ain't trying to get that smoke. You ain't about that action. These niggas is looking for clout. Clout. You niggas is buying the shit. Paying for it, happily. Like you niggas was really, bro. Y'all niggas really got up for Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. And Mike Tyson could not have looked worse than ever. Nigga looked like he was about to blow his knee out like Sergio Martinez, nigga. Tyson looked like his knees was finna go the fuck out. He was finna be looking like Sergio Martinez versus Miguel Cotto, bro. That's what that shit was finna be looking like. Jake Paul carried that nigga. Jake Paul could have been got Tyson out of there around 4-5. So, to be fair, to be honest, the nigga that's really doing the shit based on numbers, not opponents, but numbers, since that's what this game is solely about, is numbers. Jake Paul the face, nigga. Not Canelo. Not Tank. Not Arturo Betterby, nigga. Not Usyk. Not Tyson Fury. I'm not. Nope. Jake Paul. Who doing the numbers? Who putting asses in seats? Because wasn't that the big deal? The last, like, 10 years? Nigga don't sell. Nigga don't put asses in seats. Niggas don't do this. He don't do this. He don't do this. He don't do that. That's all duck talk. It's all duck talk. But meanwhile, you got Jake Paul, who could fight anybody and still sell out. Still sell. 120 million strings. I know for a fact when Floyd Mayweather, Leonard Ellerby, Alan Heyman, when y'all saw them numbers, hell, even fucking, um, no, because he was with the motherfuckers. Yeah, Alan Heyman, Leonard Ellerby, Floyd Mayweather, when y'all heard that that shit did 120 million strings, y'all niggas started punching hella air. Because nigga, Tank is y'all guy. That's your star. Well, your star only barely does 200,000 pay-per-view buys. His fight with Ryan Garcia did 1.2, and you niggas was screaming, that's this, this stuff, blah, blah, blah. then here comes Jake Paul, 120 million. Nigga, y'all... Come on. And he, and, you basically, and he basically had niggas who didn't even have Netflix because they probably cool with their Amazon Prime, their HBO Max, you know what I'm saying, a Disney Plus account. Like, they cool with that shit. And they was like, oh, Mike Tyson, Jake Paul, I got that shit. It's on Netflix. I'm going to buy Netflix. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get that one-week trial or that one-month trial to watch that shit. You know how many people signed up for Netflix to watch that dumb shit? Y'all can't tell me boxing ain't dead, bro. You can't get me to believe it's not dead, bro. When a nigga pretty much can come off the internet and he basically stole the show. Because you bitch ass niggas in boxing didn't want to put the best against the best during COVID. If you niggas was smart. If you niggas was, cause, hey, hey, I call Jake Paul an idiot because of some shit he say. And some shit he be on, it be some idiotic shit. But as far as his business acumen, bro, hey, bro, nigga ain't that dumb. He ain't that much of an idiot. Motherfucker doing this shit. This nigga hit COVID by storm. 
And now is literally, not arguably, he is literally the biggest star in boxing. Who is a bigger star in boxing than Jake Paul? Who bigger than Jake Paul? Star status. Who? Who doing? Who doing Jake Paul numbers? Speaking 120 million streams, 70 million at the gate. Who doing them numbers? In boxing. Aside from Jake Paul. Don't worry, I'll wait. Who? Because what you niggas should have did, we should have had Errol Spence Terrence Crawford during COVID. We should have had um, Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua. Like, we should have had big, major fights the whole time we were dealing with the COVID experience. Nope. Didn't happen. But you know what did happen? Jake motherfucking Logan motherfucking Paul. Them niggas. That's what happened. And now... The sport is so much of a fucking joke. You basically can have niggas come out of the fucking blue and steal the show. To where you got, you got Tank Davis tweeting about this nigga. Why you tweeting about this nigga, bro? He, what, 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 what you tripping on him for? It Disney kid. That nigga got more money than you. He doing bigger numbers than you. And he fighting lesser opposition than you. And still, nigga, shit. <laughs> She Nah. Nah. Y'all can believe this shit lit all y'all want to. Y'all can believe this box of shit is all good all you want to. This shit dead. Dead, 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 dead. Done. You can come up with every excuse, all the shit. You got, like, you got Blair Cops, Ryan Garcia calling out Boots. Y'all ain't saying Boots ducking them niggas. Blair Cops been calling out Boots forever. Blair Cops was calling out Boots before Boots was champ. Y'all didn't say shit. I didn't say that Boots was ducking Blair Cops. Bet you y'all ain't gonna say Boots ducking Ryan Garcia. And they been and they calling this nigga out. But y'all ain't gonna say he ducking them niggas. But y'all gonna say Crawford ducking Boots. Cause Boots calling him out and Crawford ducking. But this motherfucker's calling out Boots. Boots ain't saying give a fuck about nothing. I'm gonna tell you right now, Boots overrated too. Yeah, I said it. Overrated. Overrated. You overrated. I like dude. Think dude can do what he did. Just be a champ at Welterweight. And I knew that was gonna happen. Once Crawford Arrow Spence left, it was gonna be uh Jerron Boots in his time to get his shot at the weight. I knew that off top. But at 54, you ain't, please. Please. Now y'all, y'all doing the same thing that niggas was doing to Canelo. Y'all chasing niggas. Chasing. 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 Y'all ain't learned that that shit don't work. That shit don't work. You know what work? Having clout. Having clout and don't say shit about nobody. Have clout. <laughs> Ryan Garcia needs other motherfuckers to be successful for him to maintain some clout. He got to talk to stay relevant. He got to say dumb fuck shit. He got to stay on Twitter because he want to stay relevant. He, he need people still to say his name, talk about him. Because if he stopped tweeting and he just live life, ain't nobody going to give a fuck about Ryan Garcia. He going to be afterthought. So he got to tweet. He got to talk. He got to do shit. He got to say shit. All some fuck shit to maintain his uh, stardom. In boxing. So people will want to see him fight when he come back to the to the ring type shit. This shit is bogus. The whole boxing world. Bogus. Y'all could be for that shit all you want to. But at the end of the day, bruh, it's all a placating, manipulative game. That they plan. And then they gonna say fuck you in the private. Like Shakur saying fuck the fans. Like So Shakur. Make this make sense. Who buy your tickets? Who purchase your pay-per-views? I don't wanna hear. It don't matter what I do. They ain't gonna never be happy. Welcome to life nigga. Welcome to life. 
So don't say fuck the fans. You need to say fuck the critics. Because it's the critics. It's not really the fans. It's the critics. Because the critics are influencing the fans to say what they say about you niggas. The critics are saying you're boring, Shakur. The critics. Now you got some fans that'll say that shit too. But it's mainly the critics pushing that narrative. The ESPNs and the Foxes of the world. Even some of these LDBC niggas that still hold some merit on this YouTube shit. Because the same niggas that say you're boring, Shakur, is the same niggas that was bigging up Deontay Wilder. Same niggas. Same niggas saying that Errol Spence is going to do this, that, and the third. Same niggas. Same niggas that's saying that shit that got you saying fuck the fans. It's the same niggas that's saying Terrence Crawford need to fight T.O. Same niggas. Same niggas that's saying that Terrence Crawford need to fight Boots. Same niggas. So, all you doing is... Is saying fuck the people that's paying you because you need the fans to buy the pay per views. You need the fans to, to 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 purchase tickets to put the asses in the seats, right? That's what you. If so, if if the fans say, "All right, nigga, fuck you too," we ain't buying your shit. Now what, Shakur? But of course, human beings aren't that fucking smart to just say, "You know what? Fuck me, fuck you too, nigga." We ain't buying your shit. We ain't buying nothing. We ain't paying for a goddamn thing. You said, fuck me? And I go to work every day and make an honest dollar to make sure your bitch ass stay rich? And you going to say, fuck me? Oh, nigga, okay. Let's see how this go. Stop, stop paying for your shit. Stop coming to see your fight. Stop, stop purchasing tickets, nigga. She, she want to say, fuck the motherfuckers that pay for your shit. That's the dumbest shit in the world. I... Never was like, man, fuck my fan base. I ain't making no more videos. That's the reason why I make motherfucking videos. Because I got 9,000. 9,000 ain't shit. To me, it is. Okay? I got 9,000 motherfuckers that be waiting for me to say some shit. So for me to say, fuck them, and they pretty much helped me build this bitch, I got every last subscriber on my YouTube channel fucked up. So I ain't gonna never say, fuck the fans. Fuck my subscription, man. Fuck them niggas. I don't care about them. Man, that's the fuck I do. Yes, the fuck I do. The fuck you talking about? I gives a flying fuck about every subscriber on my YouTube channel. You are the reason why this video is being made. Is for those non, not, not for the, not for the other masses of other motherfuckers. Only for the 9,000 that fuck with your boy tough. The rest of you niggas can kiss my ass. So, I am not excited about the, the trajectory of boxing right now. So forgive me for the lack of content that I have may be creating throughout the last motherfucking 30 goddamn days. Okay? The live yesterday it was me, ILTBA, and the Mac Mob came on it. They came on at two different times. But those are the two gentlemen I had on my live stream just yesterday. And uh, I must say, I had a great time with you guys, man. Shout out to IOTBA and shout out to BMAC of the Mac Mob. Appreciate you guys pulling up on my live stream. I will be doing more. I think I might start doing more live streams and videos in the next coming month or two. Because I kind of I kind of miss doing live streams and I kind of... uh. Lost my touch a little bit, so I got to get my swag back, man. Got to get my swag back, man. But a lot of this shit is hype. A lot, about 90% of it, if not all of it, is hype. Boxing is not for, it's not a hardcore fan sport. You cannot be a hard, you have to be a fanboy. You damn near, damn near. Because all hardcore fans just going to get their feelings hurt. Damn near every hardcore fan is going to get their feelings hurt. You cannot be emotionally invested in this in this game. You're going to get your feelings hurt because they are going to disappoint you. And then in the same breath, say, fuck you. They're going to 
piss on you and tell you that it's rain. And they're going to feed you shit and tell you that it's sugar. And then get mad at you when you don't eat or drink it. Don't fall for the bullshit, bro. Stop falling for the bullshit. One.